Last March, I headed to Iceland, land of crazy microclimates, jaw-dropping ice caves, and beautiful waterfalls. I of course had to try their interesting delicacies. This country so far is absolutely amazing. The weather is really treacherous though. One minute it's sunny, the next minute it's hailing, then it's raining, and then it's sunny again, and then it's windy. It's absolutely crazy. We're here in the countryside and there aren't a lot of people around, so I feel like I'm constantly whispering, especially since they believe in elves and I wouldn't want to disturb them. Today we're going to try shark. Doesn't sound like my cup of tea, but when in Rome, or in this case, when in Reykjavik, just so you know, it is not an endangered species. We're at the Bjarnahor farm. Uh, there's a shark museum here, and this is where they cut up all the sharks. Uh, this has been a tradition for over 400 years, and it's a Greenland shark that is actually fished by accident. So they don't, they don't seek after the shark. So they pay those fishermen to basically keep the shark on their boat for them to use later. Uh, it's a fermented shark, it's not rotten, so they can only do this during winter and they say it's a very fine line between fermented shark and a rotten shark. It's a process of about six months and they don't put anything on it, no salt, no nothing. Here we have the shark meat and this next to it, it's a rye bread. It's a good beginner's trick to combine those two together. And if you like that, you can try it again with no bread. Enjoy! Oh boy, am I really doing this? I'm really trying to be polite and not show that this is not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> okay, I can taste it. And now? Now I can feel it. Oh. You, you see, it's not so strong. Well, I beg to differ, but I'm going to give it another shot. And to tell you the truth, it tastes better than it smells. It's hard to explain. You should try. It was not my favorite thing, and to tell you the truth, I wasn't as shocked. I also somehow thought it was going to be very dark and brown and black, but when you cut it open, it's completely white. Um, it There's an ammonia taste, and it comes in waves, so you don't feel it at the beginning, and then suddenly it just hits you. Uh, so it's a little bit of a shock, and then it comes down again, and then you get a little bit of an aftertaste, but then within five minutes, everything's gone, which is great. Um, so, not something I would eat frequently. I think people here uh, add it to maybe a soup or some dishes to kind of spice things up a little bit. And uh, it is quite strong uh, and it's quite filling apparently. So now we're going to look at where they hang the meat. First what they do is put them in these huge boxes for about six weeks and then they hang them up here to dry. Time to walk this food off with some strenuous ice caving. 